Hi guys, it's me, Rachel Peterson, and I'm excited to share with you the lesson for today because it's applicable to both small business owners and all business owners, as well as for social media marketers. Today I'm going to be talking about setting up Facebook and preparing it for ads. Now, there are a couple of different moving parts and the process can seem a little bit daunting, especially since it's hard to know the order in which you have to set everything up. So I'm just going to quick go through it and then if you would like, drop your comments um, and I'd love to hear if you would benefit from the template that I actually use with my clients to streamline the process. So number one, you're going to want to make sure that you have the Facebook business page. This is different from your personal page. This is the page where everything for the business is posted. It explains the products or services that you offer. It drives traffic to your blog because people will be um, engaged in your content. It's really important to make sure that this is set up. Anybody who's going to be handling the social media on your page probably should be an admin of this page. Number two, you're going to want to make sure that you have the business manager set up. And the way that you access it is simple. You Google Facebook business manager. From there, go ahead and set it up for that page. You can easily claim access as long as you are the admin. Number three, you want to make sure that you are an admin to both. So it seems a little bit interesting, but you need to be an admin on the business page as well as within the business manager. Um, from there, you're going to set up number four, the ad manager. Now the ad manager is really cool because it's where you're going to have a lot of your targeted campaigns. It's where you can create dark posts if you've ever heard of those. Um, and that's something I'll talk about in the future. It's really cool. But basically it's the platform for all of the advertising for your account, driving traffic to your website, driving conversions, um, getting opt-ins for your lead magnets, etc. And number five is the power editor. You'll want to dive into that, but it is a little more complicated. So if those first four steps aren't super comfortable for you, don't jump into the power editor yet. But it's perfect for once you start running ad campaigns and understanding what to look for. So those are the five steps that I take to make sure every one of my campaigns and my clients' campaigns are a success. I hope this helps. Um, if you like this template, just drop it in the, in the comments, and I would love to send you the template.